In this how-to video, I'm going to show you how to make changes to the error pages. Error pages come up when there's either a problem on the client side or on the server side. So first thing we're going to want to do is open up Internet Information Services Manager from the Start Administrator Programs and then IIS option. From here we will double click on our server name and over here we'll double click on the error pages. So here's the different status codes, uh, the standard 404 and 500 ones are some of the most popular and from here we can make the changes as to where those pages come from and by default the 500 server error page is in the system drive which is whatever drive Windows is installed on followed by uh, the rest of this path all the way to the 500.htm file that comes up when there's an error. So from here we can change that and browse to a different file. We can also change the name of the file itself here. We can also change this to execute a URL on, a, on this site. So if we put in a different path to a specific URL that is not necessarily in the same folder but is in the same folder as the website itself we can execute a URL. The last option here is we can respond with a redirect so it will redirect the page to a website outside of our organization. We can also go in and change the status code so if we click on this then we get an option to change the status code itself. Another option we have is to edit the feature settings. We can have a custom error page or a detailed error for people who are doing debugging or we can do detailed errors for the local request for debugging but only a custom error page for remote requests which makes the most sense. The default path can also be set here as well for the error pages and the path type can be file or execute or redirect.